Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership. Three string shovel guitar. Yeah, it wasn't me. Chuck Berry, uh, George Thorogood does a fantastic treatment of this tune. Um, fantastic song. <laughs> I do it in open G. That is the key George Thorogood does it in. Uh, so just to let you know, you can play along. Uh, I'm going to do a intro. Then I'm going to do a lyric. Then I'm going to do a little messing around like I did on the companion video. So please take a look at the companion video. So... Uh... <laughs> stuff right there but what I want to do is get us on track what do we got going on G D G 42 34 24 by the way these are the same strings same strings I use on all my three string instruments you know 42 34 24 seems to be a great gauge for me um, a lot of other folks will try different gauges whatever works best for you is fantastic I like all wound and uh, electric guitar strings. I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube right here, and uh, I'm on battery. So uh, it's really slick, really cool. These things are just wonderful. They make them different sizes. I just got this because it's a great practice size. So what we have going on is open G tuning. And so with playing slide, you want to be on the fret markers. So G... G sharp, A, B flat, B, C. C is a chord in this song. And D is another chord in this song. And then, of course, D sharp, E. And then it gets into this nebulous world of you got to guess. Kind of like a trombone player. But... I've got these little screws in here that help me determine where I'm at. And this is uh, unique to this instrument, but a lot of people just paint it. And that's cool too. It, in either way you can do it, um, you, you want to be able to see kind of where you're at. And I say kind of because it's not an exact science. Playing a slide, especially on an instrument that has no frets at all, it's a very nether world. So that's why I like coming into chords, coming into that note. Nice and gentle, just getting it right there. Coming up to C. Coming up to D. You're gonna see me do this a lot. Coming up to G. It's rare, but I will do it. Right? It's rare, but I will play that way. And it's just, it's, it's knowing exactly where I'm at. So this song has three chords in it. Open G, C. That's a fifth fret. D. So, G, 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 G. We're going up to C. We're going back. Say a song, I'm coming in the crowd one night. 
On its basic level, on this lowest level, that's exactly what it is. You're just strumming up and down. I've developed a technique playing the shovel that I really want to show you, and I'm going. So I'm going bass string, treble, back to D, bass. So it's G, G, D, G, G, D. And I'm just I'm just rolling through it. And I just discovered it on my own. I didn't find it anywhere, but it just seems to work. So the idea, rhythmically, is to get four beats in each measure. Okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So G, G, D, G. And however you make that happen, if you go... Right? If you go G, 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 D, it doesn't matter. As long as you're happy with it and you can keep it the same all the time. This is the thing about rhythm is that you want to keep the same rhythm throughout and then maybe change it for choruses or change it for soloing or things like that. But you want to keep that same rhythm, whether it's... keep that one two three four um, if you want a better treatment of how this actually works I have some uh, shovel workshop I have a shovel workshop and other cigar box guitar workshops on my website so take a look at that if you want to see a more in-depth treatment of, of you know exactly what's going on but you can certainly get this it takes time don't think you're going to get it today exactly right, nailed, and you're going to be able to play 47 songs this way. Um, although, I do play most of my songs this way. Right? Um, that's just me, and then sometimes I'm up and down. It's just what you feel within the song. Whatever makes the song sound better. So I do a whole lot of different little games here. So here are the tricks. 12th fret. I just happen to know it's right in here somewhere, and a lot of that is just knowing it. Practicing 0, 12, 0, 12, 0, 12, for months at a time, um, day after day after day after day. So I just know that this is 12. So I can do a... Okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm using this part, the fat, fleshy part of my thumb, and I'm doing that, wiggling right there, okay? The two techniques I use for vibrato is the fat, fleshy part, and you can see where my, my thing is. Then I also use my thumb, like so. Using my thumb coming up and down my hand and my thumb like so and that way I can reach around the neck and that is just back and forth that's a lot of practice I'm just gonna show you how much I can just keep doing this while we talk but you can just keep doing this over and over and over and just practice it as much as you can and what I'm kind of doing is, is I'm not back and forth straight at it. I'm kind of at an angle. Okay? So as opposed to hitting it flat, I'm hitting it at a little bit of an angle. That happens to be my picking style. But it also works really well for this kind of technique, where I'm not flat. I'm an angle. I'm also using the bridge a lot as a uh, anchor. Right? 
So that's how I play that little up and down game. It works really good for bad to the bone. Right? And, and you know, these are techniques. So if you're going to play five shovel songs in a row, you don't want to use that technique or that trick twice in a row. But you can use it every other song, and it works perfect because people will have forgotten the trick and then, oh, I see it again, it looks cool. So that's what I want you to work on. Um, this lesson is less about the song than it is about these little tricks I do. So I also do a... Or a... So B flat down... B flat down, F down, B flat down, or I come up, if you notice I'm using my thumb and that fleshy part to get that vibrato, and you're just wiggling it like you would a bowl of jello. That's what you're doing. You're just kind of wiggling it. And you can practice that wiggle without playing the guitar. Okay? You're just wiggling it like you're wiggling a bowl of jello. That's how I want you to think of vibrato. And we're lucky with a shovel, we can really dig in. We can press down really hard, and it doesn't matter. You're not going to hit any frets. So that's a beautiful thing. It's a great tool for that. Great for songs. I've got like a ton of lessons for this thing. Song lessons, you know. You can do so many different tunes. Um, it's so much fun. But this is just a wonderful song. So look at my uh, companion video for that. There's a link down below. There's a link to my workshops uh, for Cigar Box Guitar and for this. The slide workshop and the shovel workshop are perfect for this. You really get a good idea of how to navigate around one of these wonderful, wonderful instruments. Also, uh, we're a 100% donation channel, and that means we don't get any money from YouTube. You are the support that we have in the mothership. You are the one that keeps the lights on. You are the one that keeps batteries in the cube. You are the one that keeps the lights on, the heat's going to start coming on soon in here. You're the one that takes care of all that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's a PayPal and Square link down below. Those are donation links, and we really, really appreciate everything you do for us. And uh, enjoy the shovel. It is a fantastic instrument. It's got the wow factor. Seriously, wow factor. People will come to see me play music just to watch me play the shovel. Um, the cigar box guitar, they don't care so much about, but they like the songs. They dance to the songs and this and that, but they come to see the shovel. And so use that within your shows or your programs or your open mic or whatever. And like I said, you can use your, use a cube. The, you can use ceramics. Um, you can use metal or glass, whatever kind of slides you like. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. Check out my website. Check out the workshops. See the links down below. There's a lot of information down there. Thank you so much for everything, and we'll see you again. Oh, shoot. I forgot I was going to show you my settings on my cube real fast, real fast. Uh... I'm on Brit Combo, my gain is at 12 o'clock, my tone is at 3 quarter, and I've got 4 on the reverb. So, uh, there you go. See ya!